Hi, welcome back to the channel where I am restoring my MGA. I've been working on this for a few years now and I'm making some pretty decent progress. Um, I'm at the point where I'm uh, working on all the body panels and uh, just getting those shaped up. Um, and it's uh, going quite well. Um, I've... Uh, I'm I'm in a stage now where I've hired Bill epoxy epoxy primes at some of the some of the wings and the doors and uh, they're looking pretty good and nearly ready for a high build primer um but um I've got an issue uh, and that is with the bonnet so um looks fine from this side I certainly could work on this remembering that the skin is aluminium um, but the frame is steel and when I turn it round you will see I've got a bit of an issue so I kind of resisting the temptation to take the skin off of uh, the frame um, I don't really want to do that if I can help it so in order to get rid of this rust without impacting on the skin which it looks to be in pretty good condition and nice and straight obviously i can't sandblast because if i sandblast i'll warp it'll be unavoidable i'll warp the skin uh, the aluminium skin behind um, so that's out i can't really tackle this with a wire brush or any sorts of abrasives because the rust is in on the back side of all of this frame as well and i really want to do as best a job as i can to have really nice clean uh, steel frame, solid frame at the end of the process. So what I've opted to do is to try a new product to me, which is a built hamber product. It's called Deoxy. Uh, and apparently you can immerse uh, a steel, any steel uh, in a bath of this stuff and over a period of time, it will get rid of the corrosion. It's biodegradable, what does it say? Um, Non-toxic biodegradable uh, product. So pretty reasonable for the environment as well. But it does say that um, um, you've got to check that metals containing zinc, lead and tin and those, um, those metals in any alloys, uh, just to make sure that um, it, it doesn't, well, it says you shouldn't use it on those products. So one assumes you'd have a pretty bad reaction. Uh, so I've done a small test on, on here. I've uh, just uh, made a little bath area and it doesn't look like it's gonna impact on the aluminium. So I will we'll be taking care, I think, and keeping an eye on it as I, uh, as, it, as it's immersed and um, and hopefully this will do the job. So, first job is to make myself a frame. I'm gonna uh, put some plastic in uh, around this. It's a little bit hokey, but it'll do the job. I'm gonna put the a bonnet into the bath uh, and then fill it up with the, the mixture and we'll do it bit of a time lapse or something just to see how it goes. Okay, I've, uh, I left it overnight and rookie mistake, uh, the plastic's obviously got a hole in it, which is great news. So uh, most of it washed away overnight, which is a real annoying annoyance. Uh, but the, what is left in the, the bowl of the bonnet is still there. So um, that's done something. I've, uh, I've just taken a little wire brush and brushed around, made, the, made it all dirty, but let's go for a little bit of a reveal I'm gonna try not to lose what's in there just to, just to demonstrate maybe and I can see just lifting it a little bit I might actually leave it there 
I can see there that it is actually working, which is good news. I don't know if you can see that, it picks it up, but that's definitely, if I look here and here, that's the original and in places around here, where I've just touched it with the wild brush, it's looking pretty good. So, plan, I'll leave it tilted, so I'll do a little bit more of a section, um, and then I'm, uh, I'm gonna put on order a couple more of those uh, uh, containers of, of the solution of the crystals. Um, I noticed that I needed more than one uh, with a ratio of I think it's 19 to 1. It didn't quite fill it up enough anyway so I'm, I'm gonna buy a couple more bottles of that stuff of the crystals, uh, replace the plastic, uh, fill it up and uh, complete the rest of the job. The, importantly the aluminium is fine it's not it's not affected that at all affected that at all so I haven't got any worry about that uh, corroding and breaking through and damaging the aluminium which was the, the you know the objective of this whole thing was to be able to get rid of the rust on the on the uh, on the steel but uh, you know not have any impact on the aluminium and this is perfect it's doing the job so um, this is only going it's to it's not even been 24 hours by quite some way yet it's only been in here since uh, I think I did this about six o'clock last night and I'm now about 12 o'clock the next day. So just that short period and it, it is actually working. So I'm confident that if once I do those things, fill it up again, this is gonna work. So um, I'll give you an update uh, in a couple of days time probably, cheers. Well, there you go, 24 hours and look at that. That is amazing. The aluminium, uh, is untouched there's no, no corrosion or anything that's gone on there but the steel is fantastic so that's uh, absolutely done the job I've just changed the angle a little bit so I can just get the nose of the bonnet under um, and I'll leave that overnight tonight and then tomorrow that will be coming out cleaning up and uh, just a quick coat of a rust pre preventative and then that's two part epoxy priming time so great news so I've uh, I gave it a wash cleared all solution off and I've used hydrate 80 which is another built hammer hammer product uh, on this which is a kind of a rust converter just to be super super sure uh, that they'll um, that there'll be no residual rust in there that give me a problem later um, I'm going to do another coat of that in a moment um, and then leave it for 24 hours uh, and then I'm in business now to carry on both sides of the bonnet two part epoxy prime uh, and get that back on the vehicle uh, and uh, and then continue the work so I, I will say that I'm not sponsored by Built Hammer, I, but the, my experience is that it's, it's really good stuff. It has, uh, it's done the job. So very pleased I got over that hurdle. Um, please like and subscribe. Oh, and one thing I will say that I've done a whole load of different types of rust removal kind of processes in my previous video. So, you know, anything from electrolysis to sandblasting to all sorts of different things to in various parts of this project, um, I found useful uh, just to use different techniques. So go back, have a look at those um, if you've got the time and I uh, hope that's useful to you. Thanks again, bye.